Today we'll show you how to fix the error code 0420 and replace a catalytic converter for your car. I have a Toyota Matrix 2004 model, but this would be the same for all Matrix models from 2003 to 2008. I believe the Toyota Corolla models from 2003 to 2008 would have the same catalytic converter. We've had this matrix for a while now, but uh, one day it just pops up the anti jack light on the dashboard. I put my OBD2 reader and sure enough, the dreaded catalytic converter failure code appears. 0420. I've never tried 420, but people always say, try everything in life at least once. I guess I'm trying it now. And for sure it's giving me a bad headache. And whether you like it or not, I'm sure almost all of us will experience 420 sometime in our life if you have an internal combustion engine, that is. I happen to live in a state where emission standard is very strict. Your catalytic converter, or CAT, let's call it CAT from now on because I have to repeat this word so many times. Anyway, your CAT has to be an approved executive order number or EO number. You cannot buy a CAT online from out of state and ship it to California. You cannot get a used CAT, etc. And your CAT has to be fat free, sugar free, GMO free, and gluten free. The list of CAT rules and regulations keep going on and on and on. You know back in the day where getting a new CAT is just a walk in the park, literally. And no, I'm not talking about walking your cat in the park. With a sawzo on your hand, you can just take a walk around a park, king lot, and pick a car you think the most suitable candidate and just get down and dirty. Five minutes later, you come home with a new cat. But that golden day has gone. And now a new cat would cost you hundreds of dollars. Some even cost north of a thousand dollars. And it doesn't end there. Some vehicles even have two or three cats. If you have a Ford F-250, Dodge Ram 2500 or Ford Mustang, a new cat will cost you between $1,500 to over $3,500. And that's just the cost of the cat only. It does not include labor. Anyway, back to my new endeavor. So I went ahead and ordered an aftermarket cat from AutoZone. That's the cheapest legal way that I can find. And I have an AutoZone coupon so it does help but my butt still hurt a little bit though. So when you purchase this, you have to make sure your engine number is compatible with the CAT part number. The engine number is found under the hood of your car. Mine is 8WMA and it's compatible with this CAT number on this box. How do you know which CAT is for which vehicle when there are so many to choose from? You just need to ask people to work in the store because there are so many to choose from. If you buy it online, you just pick the cheapest one, you might buy the wrong one. This is important because when you bring it to a smog check, the technician will check your cat for a correct part number. If you don't have the right part number for your engine, your emission test would fail even before any test is done. You can see here in my test receipt, they did check for the correct cat part number. After I get a new cat, I decide to bring it to a muffler shop and have them cut out the old cat and weld in a new cat. Simple as that. Some repair shops tell me to buy the entire exhaust assembly. That would be astronomically expensive and unnecessary. I've driven a whopping 5.4 miles since the last time I uh, reset the jack engine light and erased the coat. It's time to uh, plug in my OBD2 reader and see what we got. Alright, so here we go. Right, 
Alright, so I've just uh, tried to plug her in and it seems to be everything seems to be okay except the evap uh, which should be ready for smoke check alright so let it run one more time it just run automatically I didn't do anything uh, I guess uh, after a minute or so it will auto link and try to retest the system Let's try one more time, see what we got. There we go. So, all green and there are no error code. Absolutely no error code. So that's good news. Again, all green. Let me zoom out a little bit. All green, except the evap. So the catalytic converter is green, O2 sensor is green, everything else is green. This should be good enough for smoke check. Now let's try and start the car, see if we still have that engine check light. Okay, ready? Voila, no more engine check light. You know, only, I've only driven five point four miles from the time I delete the code and uh, uh, remove the engine check light all right so I got my car home this cat is a new cat and uh, let me show you what he did the Cali converter got a flange and there's a bolt right there to hold the flange and secure it to the uh, front manifold on the other side there's another bolt just like that so you have to remove the two bolts and then uh, this is where he cuts and remove the old catalytic converter so it cut right here and then uh, remove the uh, catalytic converter with the flange When he removed the old catalytic converter, he has to cut right at the neck, very close to the flange. Right there, you can see the welding spot right there. And then uh, he weld the new uh, catalytic, catalytic converter on. Alright, so when the new catalytic converter is welded to the flange, he put back in with the, uh, the bolt. There's one bolt right there, there's another bolt on the other side. And then on this side, he pushed the uh, pipe into the exhaust pipe. So this pipe on the catalytic converter, the new catalytic converter, it's smaller than the old exhaust pipe. So uh, it goes inside the exhaust pipe. And then he welds the connection in. You see there the welding spot right here weld around, all the way around. Okay. So this car's got two catalytic converters. One here, one over there. But uh, this one is not needed for testing. Only that one way in there that is needed for the smoke check. You see the oxygen sensor right here. This is a downstream oxygen sensor. There's another one before the catalytic converter up there, up near the uh, uh, exhaust manifold, up top near the engine. And only the cat between the uh, upstream and downstream oxygen sensor, only that one over there is needed for the uh, smoke check. All right, I'm at the smoke station now. And I've been driven about 12.6 miles since the last time I uh, reset the uh, check engine light. And the check engine light is still off now. So hopefully it will pass. So, finger cross. All right, smoke check is done. 
and uh, this is my smoke paper it's done today in February 1st and it passed with flying colors check this out all passed So that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.